Hey guys, welcome back to Ants Midwest. In today's video, I'm showing my founding colonies on feeding day. As you can see, there is a cricket leg there. This is a Campanotus novaborosensis queen, and she has a decent amount of larvae in there, and a decent sized larva as well. However, she doesn't have any eggs yet, but I would imagine this will change pretty soon. Either these or Campanotus subarbatus are my favorite carpenter ants in Wisconsin. These because of their size and beautiful coloration, or subarbatus because they kind of look like bees. Here is the second Campanotus novaborosensis. Uh, she's not doing quite as good. Her larvae are much smaller and there's not as many. Um, but considering that she's eating, I'd say there's a decent chance that she'll produce workers. Next up is Campanotus pensylvanicus. This is a queen with one worker, which actually kind of looks like a major, which is pretty funny. And she has a few larvae, no eggs yet, but the larvae are like medium size, so I'd say they're doing pretty decent. Plus feeding is always a good sign. Here's the next Pennsylvanicus queen, and she has quite the impressive brood. She has two quite large larvae that I would guess will pupate in about a week, and of course she's eating so that's great. My biggest worry with this queen is the cotton ball is getting moldy and yellow, so hopefully that won't pose an issue in the future. This last Pennsylvanicus queen isn't doing too hot. Even though she has quite a few larvae, they're pretty small and odds don't look great for them. Um, but I did see her eating a little bit, so we'll see what happens. Here we have two unknown Formica species. Uh, both of them were caught last year and had workers which all died because of bad care. But the fact that this one is eating is a good sign, so hopefully she will lay eggs. This one, however, I didn't see eating at all but just smelling the food. Here is Alasius Americanus queen. Uh, going into hibernation, I had really high hopes for this queen because she had two workers and several larvae, but upon leaving hibernation, one worker had died, and since then, the other has died. And I believe she has eaten most of the larvae because there's only three left. So it's not looking too good for this queen, but of course, we'll keep trying. Lastly, we have another Campanotus novaborosensis queen. She has three workers, and she actually used to have four, but I believe one of them died, and I think that they actually ate it because it's in chunks in that junk pile. Speaking of that junk pile, it's causing all kinds of issues with mold, so I connected this other tube to hopefully get them to move, but they still haven't, and it's been about a week, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, I gave them some fruit flies, and they took them pretty quickly. As you'll see here in a second, they have a decent brood pile with several larvae, some decently sized, and even eggs. Look at that. They have, I don't know, maybe 10 eggs, which is great. So it's really looking good for this colony, so long as the workers don't die, and so long as that mold doesn't spread. So we'll see what they do in the next coming weeks. All right, tricked you. This is actually the last one and unfortunately the least because she's dead. This is some kind of Formica parasitic species, but she passed away. Um, not super surprised because again, didn't take great care of her last year. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Thanks. Bye.